my name is shambhavi and today we are going to see that what are the attributes of array okay so basically we are going to see that what are the basic attributes which involve in array okay so just let me start with the things and basically before this these all these things attributes of array i was just telling you that oh, how many are the ways to create array okay so basically from the starting we have seen many functions using which we can create arrays now we will be seeing that what are the attributes and then further we will be making our numpy arrays okay so just let me have a heading decide that attributes of array so i hope you all must be writing the things with me only right so that you can even have a proper notes also right done now what is the first attribute of array we would be discussing today that is the dimension right so basically we would be seeing that how to check the dimension of any you can say any array okay so basically how to check the dimension that what is the you can say shape and all that things right now second what i have dimension means it's 2d it's 1d or something like that right we will be seeing in detail in the pycharm id first let me just name the attributes of array second one is the shape okay so i would be writing here shape we would be seeing the shape third one is the data type we would be checking that our array which we have just written is of what data type right and what is the fourth the fourth one is the item size we would be seeing that what is the size of the like whatever we have just entered right size of you know, like it would be telling size of each item uh, to us in bytes right so these will be the four attributes which we would be seeing in today's video okay so let's get started for that so what i would do i would quickly go to my pycharm ide right so this is my pycharm ide and here i would be just telling you all about the attributes of array okay so here's basically when we used to like uh when i need to use my number library so for that what i need to do i quickly need to install that library right so i would be sorry if you have installed that library you be, would be importing that right so i would be writing import numpy as np right so this is how we import a library in our pycharm id now here i have written import numpy as np so basically what does this np means this np is a short form which i am going to use for naming my numpy library so that is why i have simply written import numpy as np right so this thing is clear now next what should i do next what i have to do is just i would write a comment and here i would write we are supposedly going to see the dimensions okay so quickly i will write dimension now i have just imported my numpy library now my second thing is that i need to make an array so i would simply write a is equal to np dot array and inside this i would make one array and let's say my array is comma five okay i have just uh, made an array that is one two three four five right so i have done this now if i would check like i would print a dot and here i would use a function that is ndim so basically what is this used for this is used to check the dimension of your array that whether it is of what dimension so here in the output so let's see that what is the output basically we are getting and just let's uh, i guess let it will take some little time and okay so basically here it is saying that okay you have a 1d array because i have made this 1d errors that is why it is showing that it is a 1d array now just let me do one thing let me just uh, copy this thing and let me comment out this thing right now i'm gonna just paste this thing and now i'm gonna convert this into 2d array okay so for that what i will do i would just close this bracket and i would apply uh, one bracket this side and okay done so basically i have just made my array to 2d okay so this was the decoration of 1d array now here i have made my array as 2d now what i would be doing is that i would be again running my program so as soon as i will run i would okay i got some find element must be two or three tuples got four okay so here is some error let's see that what has happened and i had just forgot to like put one these brackets so, sorry sorry for that and now let's quickly run our program and here i would get the output as two right so here i got the output as two so basically what it is telling me that it is telling me that your array you have a 2d array and yeah it's true i have a two dimension array so this is clear that how we check the dimensions basically of our program which we write right so this is the thing how we check the dimensions 
now let me quickly comment these things right now what i would be doing okay before commenting i would just uh, let me show you one thing that how this area looks like even so i would write print and here i would write a okay now when i would run this this would result me a 2d array even in the output so just see this one two four and five this is appearing as a two dimensional array and the shape for is two cross row that is two rows and two columns right so and even i'm getting that it is a 2d array so this is how what like this is what i was telling about the use of the dimension attribute for these areas right so this is done now my, my next thing that comes to here is that i would be checking about the shape I would be seeing that what are the shape basically for my numpy error which I am just entering right. Let's say I write a is equal to np dot and let's say I write a zeros okay. Let's say I would enter here a zeros uh, array. So for that I would be what needing I would be needing this uh, zeros function right. As I have already told about the zeros even in my previous videos right. So you can just go and have a look over that videos and yeah you can just see that so here a is equal to np dot zeros right so in the bracket let's say i entered four right now what i would do i would simply print the shape for this one right so i would write print and in bracket i would write print dot shape and let me just write a small a right so this is how we check the shape for our numpy array so what it is saying that your shape is for that is for us because i haven't given any column or something like that here right so this is how we check that uh, this is your you can say shape of your uh, the thing whatever you are using your area okay so this is the way for checking that now next what i will do let's say i just declare an array okay so i would write np dot array and here in the bracket let's say i would write this one away i will just copy this okay just let me have a copy of this the side and just let me paste it here okay now let's run our program and let's see what's the output that we are getting and here run okay so here i got two cross two so basically this was our 2d 2d array and uh, what was the shape so there were two rows and even two columns right so i got the output as two comma two so this is how we check that it is your what is the shape of your array and how to find that right just let me now come in these thing also so this is how we do the things right now just okay just let not let's not come in because here only i'm gonna tell about that d type function right so i would just put a hash and here i would i'm going to tell you about the data type so just let me have a heading of data type right so that you just you basically do not get confused here okay now what i would be doing i already have a variable declared above side that is a now i would be printing a dot d type now i would be checking that what is the data type for my a okay so basically here what i got i got that your data type is int 32 right so why 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 basically i got this thing now just have a look over this thing in 32 so what does this 32 mean so this integer okay i got this integer that it is an integer now the thing is there i here i have just entered four values right each one has eight byte size right so basically what the thing is that each one of them have eight bytes so here what i have done i have basically entered four values so that is why i got the output as in 32 right so basically eight into four and that is 32 so this is the thing what happens when we just basically try to uh, like see what is the data type for our array okay so this is done and this is how we check the data type even and then just let me comment it out and the side last one was the item size right so just let me go above side and here i would write item size right now we will be seeing that what is the size of our item size like okay now i would be writing print and a dot i would be writing item and here i'm writing size right so this is how we just use this item size function let me run that and here what i got i got four so basically what is this for this is for that i have four values in my uh, you can say a variable that the array which i have stored it has four values right so what is the size for the array view which you have just taken so basically there are four elements so here i got the output as four right so here what i just explained you that for using numpy library we just import numpy as np after that if you want to check that what is the dimension for your 
array which basically you are entering so what you will do you will write a is equal to np dot array right and in brackets so what you will do you will write one two three four five done then uh, what like what is the array you want to enter after that you want to print and inside that print statement you will write a dot ndim so basically this ndim is a function which will tell you about that what is the dimension dimension means that it is a 1d array it is a 2d array or like something that only right so basically this ndim tells that only that what's the dimension of your area 1d or 1d or 2d right then we have seen the shape function now what does the shape function do it like the work for the shape function is that it just tells that what are the shape shape in the sense uh, like you have two rows two columns or two rows four columns three rows two columns and all that things like that so basically it tells that how many rows and how many columns you have in your array third was data type now here what we check we basically check that what is the data type for your array right so here i just write a dot data type so it told me that it is int 32 and i told you the reason that why i got that because here even i have entered the integer values and each one contains eight bytes so basically i have four values so eight four is a 32 right now the last one was item size so what was this item size basically this item size is used to tell that what are the that like what are the total number of items that are present inside your list right sorry inside your array so basically in my area i have four elements so in the output i got these four so i hope you got all the points and what all about all these um, functions which i just told so these were the attributes of array and now from the next video we will be properly seeing about the arrays and what are the functions that you can perform on arrays and all that thing. so i hope you got all the points from today if you have any doubts you can just ask like rewatch the video or ask the doubt to me in the comment box so this is all for this video till then thank you and bye bye